Allen. Third down and nine. Lovecchio under a blitz. And he's got his man. And he's inside the five. Once again, the big play on third down delivered by Matt Lovecchio to Travis Haney. 28-yard gain. Phillips a touchdown saving tackle. Yes. Stack eye formation. Indiana seeking the lead. Taylor pulled down short. Wait, not the worst thing in the world if it takes Indiana two or three plays to no. get this ball into the end zone. A little less than two minutes to go. And if it takes them another play or two, force Penn State to use their timeouts or take the time off the clock. Penn State's defense has not allowed more than 21 points in a game this year. These three defenses, the only ones in Division 1A who have accomplished that. Well, and they run the risk here. Indiana gets this ball in the end zone. They're going to go over that for the first time all season. Stack eye again. Taylor again. This time met by Pelosny at the point of attack. And they haven't moved it. Waiting. Very close to the goal line since getting down to the two. If you're Penn State, you got to call a timeout here. You can't let the clock run down, and I think they just signaled it right there. Gonna watch this play here by Pozlesny in the middle of the hole, right there, to deny the end zone. Cooper Tire, defensive player of the game, Paul Pozlesny, the outstanding sophomore linebacker from Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. Wait, third down here. Indiana can throw the ball, knowing they go for it on fourth down. Option. Lovecchio brought down to the two-yard line. Calvin Lowry came over, but really it was the senior, Derek Wake, the lone senior to start for Penn State defensively today, who made a big play there. Now it's fourth down. Often on third down, when you know you can go for it on fourth, you could take a little risk. Indiana tries the option here. What I like about what Lavecchio did, he didn't try and force the ball out there. He, you could tell he thought about pitching the ball, which would have been a tough pitch. Don't risk it. You've got one more down here. They, they are a yard and a half away from tying the game and then taking the lead with an extra point. And they've been a yard, a yard and a half away for three plays for in three a row plays. now. That's the amazing thing about it. I, I don't believe Indiana can get this running right at Penn State. And more importantly, I don't think Indiana thinks they can get it. I think they, they know Penn State's strength is there. I think they're going to have to try and do something to the outside. Indiana, 7 of 11 on fourth down conversions this season. Joe Paterno needs one more stop. Jerry Donato needs a yard and a half. We have not seen Indiana use the bootleg, the fake to the inside and bootleg out and use Lavecchio's feet. It's a play they have in their offense. Along with Beth Bowens, Randy Wright, Wayne Larrabee, Memorial Stadium, senior day here in Indiana. And the Hoosiers a yard and a half away. Fourth down and ball game right here. Again, the stack eye with Sears and Pinozo in front of Taylor. The give Taylor crashing the middle. I don't think he got there. Penn State is held! Chris Taylor came up inches short. And the Penn State defense has held 55 seconds to go. Now you look at Tom Bradley over there. There's a happy guy. He knows his defense has carried this team all season. They're just so hard to run against when you run right at them. And Penn State up to the challenge. Indiana challenged them strength against strength. And boy, there's just no way Chris Taylor gets into that. Are, are you surprised with the call, Randy? Oh, I, I am. I, I, know, as, I said right before, as I said before, I don't think they can score running inside the tackles. They'd have to do something to the outside. And Penn State's strength was there. And Penn State... A hard-fought victory for Joe Paterno and the Penn State Nittany Lions here today over the Indiana Hoosiers. Back and forth we went through the second half, but Penn State ends up on top 22-18 to over IU. We'll take a break.